Hey ladies and gentlemen, how you doing out there? Today we are going to be going over the Cura settings that I personally use myself. Um, I will be going over three different profiles and um, before I get started, just to let you guys know if you want to skip the video and get right into the profile itself, I will be uploading it on the Creality CR10 Facebook group. And it will be named Sand 2 Profile <clears throat> 1, 1 uh, 0.15 and 0.2. These are the three profiles I will be putting up on there. Um, also keep in mind <coughs> that this is for PLA only. Um, I am not putting up ABS or any other filament type except for PLA because most people print with that. Also... <coughs> This will be for the Creality CR10 printer, which I'm currently using. So these settings are reflecting that. Now for those of you that have other printers out there, I don't see why these settings wouldn't work on your other printers as well. Because um, PLA, basically, you can roughly have a good starting point with the settings that I'm going to be letting you know. So in this video, I'll go over each individual settings, and I'll tell you what they are. I will not go into detail, because I've already made advanced uh, videos regarding Cura. <clears throat> and again, if you'd like to just jump straight to the profile itself, you can download that at the Creality CR10 face group page under the discussion, where there will be a tab for files. So <clears throat> look for that and um, download it and then just go and import it into Cura and then you can go from there. Now all these settings are a base settings. If you notice it says right here my point two profile base. What that means is I usually load the setting and make minor changes as I go. Not every print is same. Not every print will use the same settings. There's no way that's ever going to happen. So um, with that said, I'm going to go ahead and start with the point two profile base. Um, the first thing we're going to go over is quality, layer height of course, duh, point two. Uh, initial layer height will be point two as well. Top and bottom line width, I went with point four because I like it a little bit thicker uh, so it sticks better to the bed. Support line width, I went with four as well. So that's my quality right there. Next will be shell. Um, wall thickness I went with 1.2 top and bottom thickness uh, it automatically comes out to 0.8 because my top thickness here I set it to 1 and my bottom thickness here I set it to 1. Um, top bottom patterns and top pattern initial layer both are lines. Um, alternate ex uh, extra walls I will leave that unchecked. Fill gaps between walls, of course I want that everywhere. And ignore small Z gaps, I leave that checked off. So if you like, you can pause it, take a look at these settings here. And then this is my shell settings here. Next, moving on to infill um, density. I, I learned that 30 to 35 is a good density to have because it comes off a little bit easier for me so that's just something I mean I like to use uh, infill pattern <clears throat> its lines and infill before walls I leave it checked off expand skins into infill I leave that checked off I leave it unchecked sorry okay so that's that this part I usually always leave the same so I never mess with this so in my other profiles you might see this as the same except for density might change next is material because uh, I use hatchbox most of the time uh, I usually leave this the same as well maybe one or two things I change but my temperature is going to be at 203 uh, the build plate I leave at 60 but the initial temperature I like a little bit hotter which is 65 Diameter, of course, is going to be 1.75. Flow is 100. 
enable retraction checked off retract at layer change unchecked retraction distance is 8 speed 65 retraction extra uh, retraction extra prime amount is 0 okay next moving on to speed now this is a very important topic because this can make your prints go from let's say a three hour print to an eight hour print depending on how you do it I learned unless it's something not very important I printed a high speed but if it is something important and I want to take my time on it if you're gonna spend 50 hours anyways and by changing these you end up at 60 65 why the hell not would you do it just to get better print quality okay so print speed 60 infill speed 60 wall speed 30 and um, outer wall speed is 40 inner wall speed is 60 top and bottom speed 40 support speed 50 support infill speed I leave at 50 now these sometimes I do change to 60 but uh, depending on what my support looks like or where it's going sometimes I want to print it a little bit slower because otherwise it gets all jumbled up and doesn't really form nice clean lines um, but that's again depending on the print travel speed is a hundred initial layer speed is 35 initial layer print 40 travel 50 number of slower layers is 2 and these three here I leave unchecked which is equalize filament flow enable acceleration control enable jerk control okay so that's that moving on to travel combining mode or combing mode is all retract before um, outer walls unchecked avoid print parts when traveling checked uh, travel void distance uh, is 0.65 layer start X and Y leave it on uh, zero and Z hop when uh, retracted is unchecked cooling this always stays the same for me I only use these two enable print cooling checked initial fan speed zero why because I don't want it to cool down too fast I actually wanted to take his time and stick to the bed itself support alright it's one of my favorite of course generate support on certain things you don't need to generate support so when you click it all this goes away but if you are generating support all this will pop up for you so where do you want support um, for the last print I guess I did everywhere and for this profile I did everywhere support overhang angle now um, I left it off so basically what this is saying is if your model has a arch let's say for example anything more than 45 degrees there will be a support for it the Creality CR10 bone stock but no modifications can go up to 45 no problem um, most of you have the fang mod out there and that one I believe goes around 60 or a little higher so um, you can avoid this by changing it to 60 now keep in mind uh, as it says in the description right here on the side when I go to it if you go to 90 it will not provide any support because 90 is basically just the right angle so anything more than if you put 90 on here or 95 it's not going to do anything so um, 45 usually tends to be good for me I like to go with the zigzag pattern the only reason is because um, it's easier to peel off in my opinion and um, connect uh, support zigzags yes I want them connected otherwise they're just lines um, support density I leave this at 35 percent the reason I leave it at 35 percent that's basically saying how strong is your support gonna be uh, 35 tends to be a good number um, support line distance there it is support Z distance 0.1 X and Y there it is minimum support distance there it is this part uh, 
I use raft on all my prints just to make sure that my filament is working great and it's laying down clean. Um, I do change it sometimes to skirt. Um, but brim, I would recommend using brim or raft. Sometimes I know my filament is flowing pretty well, so I don't mess with it and I just leave a skirt. Um, raft air gap, 0.3. Initial layer Z overlap, 0.15. Wrap top layers 0.2. I do not use this feature here and special mode. All I do is all at once. Okay, so that's this profile here. Next one will work down just 0.5 or half or whatever you want to call it, and we'll go to 0.15. So if you notice, we we'll go to the top, change to 0.5 then 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.4 okay so we go ahead and take a look at that and this is my settings here for shell uh, thickness 1.2 top bottom again is 0 0.8 but that's because I changed these right here top thickness is 1.2 bottom thickness is 1.2 um, this one is lines, lines uh, unchecked Fill in gaps between walls everywhere, of course, and ignore Z. Ops. I know I'm rushing through this part because I already spent a little bit more time than I wanted on the initial part, just reading all the lines. So, infill density, infill pattern, um, all of that is 32%. Lines checked, unchecked. Now, you'll notice most of these uh, settings are similar. That's because they work for basically most of any type of prints. It's just little minor details that you're going to be changing. Temperature 203. Uh, 60 for initial bed temp. 65 for the first layer that goes on. Of course, diameter 1.75. Flow is always 100% for me. Could be different for you. Enable retraction. Uh, retract layer change unchecked distance 8 speed 65 and extra prime amount 0 that is always 0 for me speed on this one um, I did 55 for print speed itself infill it goes a little faster but the wall speed here uh, is gonna be 27.5 and that's because of these two here so my outer wall I like it a little bit slower because I'm printing at 0.15 now, not at 0.2. So I want it to be a little bit finer. So 30 on that one. 60 for the inner wall because nobody really sees it. Um, 35 for top and bottom speed. Support speed is 50. Support infill speed is 50. Travel speed is 90. Initial layer speed is 35. Print speed 35. Travel speed 40. Because here, right here, guys, is the main part. This is the first part that's going to lay down on your bed. So that's why I go a little slower on these and speed up as I go up. Uh, these, this part is exactly the same. Travel, um, it should be exactly the same as the last one. But there it is. If you need to pause it, take a look. Cooling, same. Support, hey, look at that. It is the same uh, because this support setting works pretty well for me so I left it the only thing I change is the density sometimes or pattern or angles depending on what it is like I said and look at that raft again same settings and all at once so that covers the 0.15 of my profile which is a base profile meaning it's what I start with and tweak it as I go along and the very last one is a 0.1 so go back to the top so here again this is the part that changes um, I go to point 0.1 height I go point 0.2 uh, top and bottom line width I go point 0.4 support line width point 0.4 okay the next one uh, thickness I go point 0.8 all the way across for top and bottom thickness as well as well as wall thickness patterns are always uh, lines I always keep them as lines and moving along this part is the same infill 
should be the same as well 35 um, 35 percent um, now this it just depends on how strong you want it 35 usually works for me so unless I'm building something that I need really really strong material uh, you'll notice it's the same thing because I use the same material doesn't change and all my settings are the same on that on speed it does change a little bit I got 50 for print speed infill is 60 wall speed is 25 that's because it's based off these two outer is 30 inner is 50 uh, top and bottom speed is 35 support speed is 50 uh, support infill speed 50 um, travel is 90 initial again these are very important so I slowed these down and besides that travel the next topic is going to be the same there it is the same basically in all three cooling is going to be the same and support on this one is also going to be the same I think it's just the density changed a little bit but besides that nothing really much going on there uh, of course you know I wish they would just change the parts that you're gonna be using in the new profiles but unfortunately you have to have all of these selected so but there it is I mean everything else is the same the only thing I didn't see is nope there it is a uh, support Z distance good and that's one for those of you that don't know what that is is basically where your print and your support meet uh, it leaves a little bit of a space there so when you're trying to take it off it's a lot easier to do that but they have points all the way across so it still gives you that straight line um, again you can watch my other video on that I go into detail the Cura advanced settings and supports I ex explained this I take like a good two minutes on it so uh, check that out if you want to learn more about it but that's basically it guys those are my three settings for three different um, types of prints that I do which not types but different layer heights that I do um, so yeah and remember these are just base base uh, profiles to start base settings to start off with um, you can always tweak it change it but if you just use this as is I, you should get some pretty damn decent prints with very easy to re remove supports um, Again, this is for the Creality CR10 3D printer, but I'm pretty sure it should work with all the other ones. Now, keep in mind, if uh, you use different PLA uh, instead of like Hatchbox, the only real thing that you might need to change would be right here in Material. Your temp might change, your bed temp might change. Um, usually, retraction, distance, and speed should I don't know, it shouldn't really affect it too much. Um, so just fill out your filament and the brand and see how it works and uh, go from there and recently I've bought a filament from Amazon based on somebody's recommendation and I've done a few prints on it it's not too bad it's just a little softer material so uh, as far as like the density instead of 35 on my hatch box that makes it pretty sturdy I have to go with like 45 but uh, it gives me a smoother finish on that one so I'm not convinced yet because there are pros and cons to both so anyways now I'm just rambling but there you go guys there's the three profiles for you again and um, if you have any questions comments leave it below and like always good luck and happy printing